it's time for your daily dose of all things Chicago sports. This is the Daily Score. Now, here's your host, Mark Grody. News from the Bears on Thursday, Jalen Johnson and the Chicago Bears agreed to a four-year, $76 million deal with $54.4 million guaranteed. This was after the Bears had put the franchise tag on Jalen Johnson, where he'd be making about $19.8 million per year. And uh, that's close to what he's going to be making per year over the next four years for Jalen Johnson. Pleasantly surprised. I did not think the Bears and Jalen Johnson were going to get a deal done anytime soon. I had just assumed that Jalen Johnson, after seeing the offer and accepting the franchise tag, was content to do what he's been doing for about the last year and a half now, and that's betting on himself. I mean, this was once upon a time a guy who had asked to be traded from the Bears. And we know how honest he has been throughout the year about wanting to get a long-term deal done, betting on himself and thinking that he is the best quarterback in the league. All that added up to me thinking Jalen Johnson ain't settling for less than he desired. Now, I don't know if that's what happened. I mean, he got a hell of a deal here. So maybe he was just very happy to see the guaranteed money and the 40-year, $76 million contract. And I'm assuming he'll probably, barring injury, he'll probably earn every penny of that. And then, as Ryan Poles sort of indicated to us, obviously, four years from now, when he's still under 30, he can go get another contract. Hopefully that will still be with the Bears, but players dig that stuff. So it seems like the Bears did Jalen Johnson right. As a matter of fact, you know, even though I didn't think that they would get this done, this is what they've been wanting to get done. This is what Ryan Poles didn't want to put the franchise tag on Jalen Johnson, although Jalen Johnson had a good attitude about the franchise tag and realizing that $19 million is still going to make him rich, bitch. So he understood that, but they do get the deal done. And let me take you back to January 9th, my birthday, when Jalen Johnson told Parkinson Spiegel, that he was optimistic about getting a deal done. We should have taken the hints right here. Get a deal done. You think I we... expect a deal done. Let's say that. You expect to get a deal done? Yeah. Okay. Because I know you're, I'm sure you're, ho- I don't want to put words in your mouth, but most players in your position would be hoping to avoid the franchise tag. So you expect and hope to get a deal done? Is that fair? <sighs> I mean, I'm not going to say hope, but I mean, I expect to get a deal done. Okay. Yeah. All right. That, I mean, I think Bears fans would be very, very excited uh, to hear that. Do you have any, like, are you guys talking, a timeline, anything like that? Bears fans yeah. love you, Jalen. Your teammates keep saying, pay the man. I mean, there was a sign outside of Hallis Hall saying, pay Jalen. Yeah, Demarcus Walker said it yesterday after the game, flat we're, out need to pay you. We're very, you know, People are very anxious to when this deal is going to be done. I'm sure not as anxious as you, but people want to know. Yeah, I mean, man, it, it's gonna get done, man. We ain't we ain't start. We barely finished the season yesterday, so I mean, just letting everything calm down. I mean, I mean, we still got Pro Bowl, Super Bowl. I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot going on still. That I feel like there's some time maybe to go by, but I mean, at the end of the day, we'll 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 be in context, and I think some things will be done. Um, hopefully, quicker rather than later, um, and then we'll go from there. But I mean, I definitely appreciate the the love, the support, and all in all of that together. I think that's also helped me to be at peace. I think it's a hard situation or would be a hard situation if you're in the opposite. Like, oh, we well, ain't really that, that big of a deal. And it's like, damn, okay, are they really going to get rid, get rid of me or what are they going to do? It's like being in the position that I'm in, I think it's been nothing but, but love. Like I've been saying this whole year, I mean, God has blessed me to be able to have the season I'm having. So the combination of my work on the field, the love from the fans, the, Support staff. I mean, just everybody. Every time I walk to the building, it's always so much love. Especially after getting the Pro Bowl, everybody's been coming up to me, showing love, showing that support. So it's all been feeling good. And I'm definitely, like I said, I'm confident and expect to get it to get a deal done in Chicago. Yeah. Well, I one of the other reasons I think this is important, not just because cornerback is a premium position, and it feels like Jalen Johnson is heading towards the the that based on last year, he may just be a premium cornerback. I think he is. The other reason this is so important is because of the failures with Roquan Smith and how ugly that got with Roquan Smith 
going public and putting pressure on the Bears. I know Jalen Johnson did it as well, but it didn't feel as threatening as what Roquan Smith did. The Bears obviously did not get a deal done with Roquan Smith and Roquan on to Baltimore. I mean, that I mean that was a mistake. I mean, they, they, they should have kept Roquan Smith. I'll keep saying that. And Tremaine Edmonds is going to be a good player with the Bears, but Roquan Smith is better. But they got the deal done. You know what I mean? Like, this was important for polls, important for the Bears' defense. And then you start to look at the moves that Ryan Poles has made to specifically secure the defense. Not just, you know, we know that they're on the rise, but he is officially putting together a core of players on that defense with the four-year deal that Jalen Johnson just signed, with Montez Sweat having gotten his four-year $98 million deal. Um, just shows you how important defensive end is, $98 million to the $76 million that Jalen Johnson is getting. They signed with Tremaine Edmonds to a four-year $72 million deal. I, even though he didn't have like the dominant year last year, I do think the Edmonds contract will pay off. I'll, I can't imagine that he's going to have a better career than Roquan Smith, but Tremaine Edmonds is no slouch. Let me, let me just make that perfectly clear. And then, you know, comes back to Jalen Johnson as well. So the defense is going to play. And then specifically the secondary, man. I mean, like we talked about it last year about how budding that entire secondary is with. So now you have your two corners locked in with Jalen Johnson and Tyreek Stevenson. And Stevenson is still one of those guys where I don't know what his ceiling is. He seems pretty good. Seemed pretty good last year for a rookie. So I look forward to continuing to see his progression. And then Terrell Smith too, who the Bears clearly like. And um, he's going to push, he'll push Tyreek Stevenson. There's no doubt about it. I believe that that is the case. Kyler Gordon, you know, getting a little bit of the hand injury last year, but you know, I love Kyler Gordon. So, and Jaquan Brisker and Elijah Hicks. And even Josh Blackwell, that's a good secondary, man, with a lot of terrific depth. So just the secondary alone and what they are building, what they are solidifying for the next three, four, five, six years, I think is really good. Um, obviously, we're hyper-focused on the offense and what they end up getting done um, on that side of the ball. But these are really important things. I don't know how this affects the Bears when it comes to, you know, are they still going to go after another defensive end? Is it in the cards for them to pay Daniil Hunter? I believe that 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 is like, I don't think it's in the draft that the Bears are going to go defensive end. I do think that that's going to be in free agency. So assuming these guys don't keep falling off the board like Brian Burns did recently, it feels like Daniil Hunter may be the number one that they're circling right now. But yeah, this is a good overall day for the Bears. And, hey, good for Ryan Poles, too, because a lot of people thought that at the Combine, this was just Ryan Poles trying to give their side of and put the heat on Jalen Johnson when Ryan Poles said all this. Again, this is last week at the Combine. Jalen Johnson. Um, in the process of getting Jalen Johnson done, um, conversations are going well at this time. Uh, we feel like we've done a really good job um, kind of coming to the table strong. Um, showing the respect um, that he's due just in terms of his production through his career and really an emphasis on the turnovers that he created this past year. Our expectation is that's going to continue to go um, as he's with the Bears. Um, when I say coming strong, that means cash flows are strong, guarantees are strong. Uh, the term is strong for him. Um, being hit with his age, uh, there's a really good opportunity for him to go back to the market again. Um, and continue to earn money and play well, and hopefully that's with the Bears for a long period of time. So I'm excited about that. Uh, like I've said about those deals all the time, it takes two to tango, and you got to find a, a place that everyone feels comfortable with. So uh, I feel really good about that situation. Bro, I love it. it. takes two to tango. Those two guys are tangoing. Jalen Johnson locked in four years and $76 million. That's going to do it for this Jalen Johnson episode of the Daily Score coming on Monday. You will hear my entire top 15 team mock draft that includes two picks for the Bears in the first round, assuming something crazy doesn't change. The Jalen Johnson signing did not affect my mock draft, so it's still legit for a little bit, little while longer. Also tonight, Friday night, 6 o'clock, I will be live on 670 The Score doing on the clock, talking everything Bears for one full hour. I'm sure Jalen Johnson 
will come up in a bevy myriad of other Bears things. This is great. For Ray Diaz, the executive producer of The Daily Score, I'm Mark Grody, and I'll be talking to you soon.